Hi, I'm Dr. Deb, and this is Sahifa, May 1st. You may be aware that the elementary school is abuzz this week with three-way conferences. Well, I am here in Ali Farmer's fifth grade classroom, and we are going to hear more about the value of, of three-way conferences. But first, some introductions. Hi, my name is Stefana Mitrut. And hi, I'm Ali Farmer. Um, Three-way conferences are a wonderful time of year for the students to share their learning and celebrate with their parents and teacher um, the hard work that they've been doing this year. All year long, we've been reflecting on their work, um, and this is an opportunity for them to share electronic portfolios, paper portfolios, and really show what they're proud of this year and the growth that they've made throughout their elementary school year. So. so Stefana, your parents will be coming in and sitting down with you, and Mrs. Farmer will be with you as well, and you will be reflecting about your learning. Talk about that reflection that you've done in preparation to the event. Well, um, we've been working on our electronic portfolios. We've been adding our reflections and we've been adding videos in them. And we've been, for math, for example, we've been adding um, some paper things and we've been talking about them, like, why was this good, why was this bad, mm -hmm. and yeah. Okay. So you've gone through your work for the entire year? And as you've gone through the work, you've looked at it and you've said, how have, have I grown as a learner? What is it that's strong about this piece? What is it that needs more work? So let's talk about something you're particularly proud of. Tell us about that. Okay. Well, I'm pretty proud of what I've done at math because in the beginning of the year, uh, at problem solving, I wasn't really, really strong at it. I wasn't really trying for it. I just did something, I wouldn't really care about it. And now, with my problem solving, I, um, I, I try my best, like I do what I'm, I, I figure out what I'm actually supposed to do. I don't just slap something on the paper. Okay. So you're putting a lot more effort into your problem solving. Are there some particular strategies that you're using that are helping you problem solve? Um, yeah, I'm pretty, um, well, I'm using um, the strategy, like, just like bar model, for example, I've been using that a lot because it helps me see. Like mm -hmm. I, I like to, when I solve math problems, I like to draw something because I like to see the stuff in front of my eyes. I don't really like to do equations. Mm -hmm. So like bar model, drawing a picture, those, um, mm -hmm. those strategies really help me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, That makes a lot of sense because when we can visually represent it, then that helps take it to that next step of being able to figure it out. What about language arts? What about your reading and writing? What, what, how have you reflected on your learning there? Well, um, I have because in writing, I'm, I think I'm a pretty strong writer. Um, I, I do, I can see when I look back into my writing that I, I am reading a bit more now, so I can like take some things from like from when I learn what I learn when I read I can put that into my writing and I I can see that that I'm doing that very nice you can create a picture from your reading wonderful well Miss Farmer you have watched the same reflection take place in your entire classroom what kinds of observations do you have about the students reflecting on their learning um, I think I would like to say too what this class it's pretty special as I've had Stefana in third grade as well, and four other kids in this class. So watching them learn to take the independence in their reflection, and it's such a natural part of their learning process now, um, and reading their reflections, hearing them put into words things that we've worked on, such as putting pictures in the reader's mind, it's pretty impressive, the growth that they've made this year. So we're excited that the parents are coming to celebrate the accomplishments of not only Stefana and not only Ms. Farmer's class, but the entire elementary school. We welcome you here. We're very impressed with the electro electronic portfolios that you've put together and um, know that the ability to be able to articulate your learning is a very important skill. Thank you so much. and. Welcome to three-way conferences. That's Sahifa this week.